Alright, let's get Kriggan. Domination. Taking A. A lockdown. Enemy has Charlie. Take the objectives. Losing Bravo. 
time. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Mm, that's pretty good. C Assist objective. me on this objective. Take an objective. Capture is underway. Me. Securing C. Sundex. Enemy Sundex. care package above. Uh, Enemy took Alpha.
Sorry, Jay. Deathmatch. За Родину! We've pulled ahead. We're losing the advantage. Taking the lead. We're losing the advantage. Taking the lead.
Right, a faggot. Seriously. Like, you know, so. Plane inbound. Shot through that huge brick wall. consequences.
friend, Ken Register, who said he hadn't seen Crystal all night. After I talked to Ken Register, I called one of my friends, and he got up out of bed and come in. And we went all over Conway hunting her, see if we could find her car anywhere. They found her car the next morning in a nearby school parking lot. Her purse and coat were inside. I don't know why I mean. I it took ballistics, a last will, and the physics of a shot cup pep. In the desolate beauty of northwest New Mexico, the city of Farmington is one of the few green spots. The streets are generally quiet. Traffic problems are usually handled by police on motorcycles. Paul Dunn used to be one of those officers. I loved my job. I always used to say there was only two things I was good at. It was being a traffic cop and being a dad. And I enjoyed most all the simplicity of being a motor cop because everything you do in accident investigation, accident reconstruction, is just math. Cliff Olam worked alongside Paul Dunn. He was a good motor officer, good police officer, took his job, you know, real serious. Paul was married to Monica Sanchez Dunn, and together the couple had two children. She was singularly the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen in my life. But after several years of marriage, there were problems. Monica discovered Paul was having an affair with another woman, and the couple separated. Early on the morning of April 4th, 1994, Cliff Olin was on duty and heard a police radio call about a shooting at Paul and Monica's house. I saw Paul performing CPR on Monica, and he was just covered in blood. Monica was rushed to the hospital, but it was too late. She was pronounced dead on arrival with a gunshot wound to her abdomen. Paul told police he went to the house to have breakfast with his daughters. As he walked in, Monica was just about ready to leave for work. When they met, tempers flared. She said, I'm filing charges on you. And I said, what? She said, I'm filing charges on you for battery. And then she stormed off down through the living room and down the hallway and into the bedroom and slammed the bedroom door. Paul followed Monica to the bedroom. Paul said he picked her up, ran to the garage to drive her to the hospital, but he wasn't sure there was enough time. I felt her shudder, and I knew what that meant. His friends on the police force didn't believe the suicide story. You know, I suppose anything's, anything's possible, but I always have that philosophy. There's only two people that know, and one can't speak with us. Investigators needed to analyze the forensic evidence in the bedroom to determine whether Paul's incredible story was true. Since Paul Dunn was a Farmington police officer, his wife's suspicious death was assigned to another department, the New Mexico State Police. Investigators couldn't find any usable fingerprints on the shotgun. And they removed the back wall containing the shotgun pellets for later analysis. In Monica's van, investigators found a domestic violence complaint form. Just the day before her death, Monica had gone into police headquarters to have photographs taken of injuries she said Paul inflicted during a beating. She had a bruise on her cheek, she had a bruise on her uh, thigh, and a couple of other places on her legs. She was going to file these battery charges, and that was going to cost him his job. When police photographed Monica's injuries, they violated standard procedure. A witness said a male officer photographed Monica's injuries alone in his office with the blinds closed. They would have a woman officer come in and take the photos, and he didn't do that. And he didn't have anybody in the room with them. It was just him and, and Monica. 
So they're alone, and it took them about 10 minutes to do these photos. So there's kind of questions on what happened in that room during that 10 minutes. At Monica's autopsy, the pathologist noted two abrasions near the entrance wound, identical to those caused by a shotgun. Unlike a rifle, a shotgun fires several projectiles at once. In this case, nine pellets. A plastic cup with four equally spaced cuts holds the pellets together in the shell. When fired, this shot cup opens like a flower with four petals. It will catch air and this will open the petals. You'll see the shot cups opening and being spread out uh, in the form of a cross relative to the path of the bullet. Since the shot cup opened before entering Monica's body, this meant that the muzzle was one to three feet away from Monica.
fate of the free world is in your hands. Dude, that was quick. Where? Hostile spy plane established overhead. I'm eating fruit salad. Plane established overhead. Spy plane is bingo fuel, returning to base. Ball strike incoming. Of course.
What? What the fuck? Yeah, good. Wow. That was cheap. If the problem persists, like, what? Well, if we can't play the fucking game that you paid for. Just let us know. Oh, we probably won't do anything about it, but let us know. Fuck off. I might as well play the tokens. I'll go. Fine socks. Oh, it's good, I'm chewing. Can I help you? You can't have a grape, because you'll die, but a little bit of water. Now. Why are you drooling so much? What the hell, man? You just drink water? Gross, bro. Domination. Domination. Yeah, very nice. Securing Alpha. Take the objectives. Hey, look down. We've pulled ahead. Ooh. Enemy has Charlie. Oh! Fucking hell. We're falling behind. Fucking weasel. Great. Oh goodness, getting up to a blinder here, this is great. Oh, and... 
free? Fucking hell. Fuckheads look like a one kill, my god, what are we doing here? Well, sure, if you're just gonna play like a fucking idiot, then I guess that's what we're gonna get. Of course we're losing B. <gasps> of course we are. Shooting Is this dickhead like literally just sitting by the window fucking ADSing down there? What a loser. What a loser. Enemy spy plane inbound. Hostile spy planes detected. How do you not die? Ah. Losing A. Oh. Really? I stuck him as well. Time. Oh, well. Objectives. Taking C. C secure. Nice. Enemy took Alpha. <laughs> wow. Detected in your AO. Enemy has Bravo. <laughs> Enemy spy plane is down. Enemy napalm spy plane is B. 
Artillery targeting detected. Artillery inbound. All in here. Fuck you. Enemy cruise missile launch detected. Okay. Securing A. Cool gas grenade, dickhead. Hostess pipeline established overhead. Losing Bravo. Shit. Enemy You cool. You fuckhead. Sea trap, napalm strike inbound. Oh. Come on. <laughs> fucking fuck! Fucking fucking annoying. Enemy spy plane inbound. Can it be in? Multiple enemy spy plane contacts. Multiple enemy spy plane contacts. Hostile artillery targeting. Oh, this sucks. Well, I mean, I suck. Whatever. That guy sucks more. Oh, where the fuck are you this? We won't, so I got really horrific news for you there. Yeah. Miss, copy. Miss, Dicky. 
Fucking move, dickhead! Hostile attack helicopter inbound. <sighs> Alright, well, it wasn't total AIDS in the end, but that way. We we'll have to get to a hundred. I think it's a hundred. Cock, cock, cock. Okay. Krieg. Radical. Oh, you fuckhead! Ah, oh, it's very disappointing. What the fuck? Hostile spy plane established overhead. What the fuck? How do you not die?
Wow. Yeah, camp there, you fuckhead. Hostile counter spy plane is why are you not? What the fuck? Oh, not that. Cruise missile inbound. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. Just shoot both of them, you fucking mutant! What are you doing? This gun's a bucket of shit! Right! Wow. Oh, you pull yourself. Fuck! Don't everybody die in it. Fucking hell! Oh my god, fuck off! Good spawn point, dickhead! Ugh. of them Ugh. I don't have to move on to a different gun and play with that before I finish the camos on this no
deathmatch. We must push back the Iron Curtain. Get in the fight. We've pulled ahead. We have fallen behind. Fucking dog shit. Oh, fuck off with your auto aim shit, cunt. Damn it. What? Oh, under the fucking corner. Oh. Enemy spy plane inbound. You don't. Shut up. Al John. I'm definitely. Enemy counter spy plane inbound. Hostile spy plane established overhead. Wow, what the fuck? Oh, it's an iron sight and reported. Done.
anyone from Australia. Enemy spy plane inbound. Enemy cruise missile launch detected. Hit shit like detected in your AO. You were not there for that long. Bullshit. And then how did you not die from that? It tight, they are taking this. Multiple enemy spy plane contacts. Survivors withdraw. They'll be all over us in seconds. Bye, Bear.
So, should I wash the Star Wars sheets and the Harry Potter ones so you can have Harry Potter and then Star Wars on the bottom? Sure. Because, like, if I hang them out on the line, they're going to be dry in, like, half an hour. Yes, exactly. Why did you not ADS to me? Wow, what are you doing, you fucking idiot? We're taking control. Enemy spy plane in the You've got to be kidding me, though, right? Multiple enemy spy plane.
You don't get stunned by that, apparently. No, no, I wanted to see before that. Oh, fuck off! There are guns.
deathmatch. The fate of the free world is in your hands. We've pulled ahead. Losing the advantage. in the lead. What with the um, range hood? Okay. 